Hello wonderful people, viewers and subscribers, welcome back on this platform, BVI Channel 1, where truth is the gospel we preach. Um, this festive season, we have been talking about roadblocks by security operatives, road safety, VIU, causing untold hardship and horrible experience on the road. I have a friend, she's a blogger. She came visiting Anambra State, and I would like you to hear her story about her experience. She's here with me. She can introduce her own blog for you. Hi, guys. Um, this is African Unite Force. You know, my channel is all about um, promoting Africa and, you know, African-based mindset, you know, Africa, um, um, everything about Africa, you know, that's what I do. Okay. Now, share your experience. What it looks like um, relocating from Russia, coming down to Nigeria, and trying to make impact. What is your experience dealing with um, corrupt system, and particularly your experience while coming to visit Anambra State? Okay, let me start from returning back to Nigeria. So I actually um, thought to myself that, you know, I am giving my best time and my best years, strength, energy, and intellect, you know, to the Western and European, you know, world. So I felt the need of coming back and contributing to my own people and from where I come from, because I believe that our, our people here deserve the best of me as well. So I decided to return back and contribute my little quota that I can. So, you know, I and I thought that Nigeria is always put on, is always on the negative. You know, mostly it comes from Nigerians themselves, particularly those in the diaspora. They over hype things and over exaggerate things just like that, being extremely negative. Now the thing is that there is nobody that can make Nigeria great or make Nigeria better. I'm using Nigeria in the context of the fact that you know every one of us can be able to understand that's why i'm using nigeria but i don't think that you know um, i don't use the colonial term because i know nigeria is a colonial term and i don't believe in that so um when i was coming to from port harcourt because i'm from port harcourt so i was coming to port harcourt to anambra state because i want to promote um the southeastern part of nigeria of definitely all um all the 37 state because i'm traveling around so i'm start i started with anambra state so i was traveling to from Port Harcourt to Anambra State, reaching Imo State, you know, we were helped by um, road safety. VIO. Yeah, yeah, the VIO. You're not road safety because I saw your video. Okay. Um, it, he called it the VIO. So they, they, they stopped us. They said um, our headlight wasn't flashing. So they asked us to, you know, pull over. And mind you, this is not their office, it's nothing. They went to um, collaborate with a police checkpoint. This is where this is what they're doing there in Imo State. So they asked us to pull over. They took our car keys, car keys forcefully, and every a lot of people were there coming from Wari, coming from different parts of the states, you know, traveling to um, traveling through that uh, highway. So they took our car keys, and you know, and I was recording the event because it was highly corrupt they were taking money from people it was on saturday so when they're giving us the ticket to go and pay in the bank and everything they obviously know that it's saturday we can't go to the bank we can't make payments so when we demanded for online payment and all of which should they refused they said we have to pay cash and what we, they are collecting from us is different from what they're writing on the receipt even a lady a woman whose daughter is sick they, they they kept us there they refused you know for me they said because i took video they will not even attend to me they will not even give me receipt they kept him there for six hours i was on the we are on the road and the driver needs to go back to port harcourt so when i refused to bribe and i refused to give them there is nothing they did not say they said all kinds of things they said they will frustrate me if i like let me go and call Buari. let me call the Imo state governor nothing will happen so this is this is really bad i don't believe in you know uh, um i don't believe in um patronizing corruption because the more we keep patronizing corruption corruption will fight us yeah. so we definitely need to stand up to it fight it and whatever thing and i told them like if i have to cancel this trip or if i have to stay here with you guys we will dig it out you know but sometimes you have to apply wisdom because you know the kind of people that 
you know you're dealing with in the country the mindset is really really uh, um something you so need to, horrible yeah you need to check check out the mindset you, you have to think about your yeah, safety first you have to think about your safety first and yeah. that was my safety the, uh, filming what really happened although they took my phone they deleted you know some of the stuff that was there you know there's nothing they, they did and they were threatening and saying all kinds of things so these are public you know official public now, uh, now, 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 now you've mentioned about some of because they tried to delete, they deleted some of them, yes. but they they couldn't delete the one that you've already sent out to your second phone and all that. All yes, that. Yes. So that is what we just want to flash so that you will see and have an experience of what transact, uh, what happened in that area. Your job and don't me. I'm not your problem. Face your job and do your job. Okay. What do you mean by what am I doing? Hello, listen to me now. I don't pay the money. Better put that phone down. What will happen? Eh? What will happen? You better put that phone down. Is it why, your why phone? I'll call your phone number. Let me put that phone down. What will happen? What will happen? You should be finding who you're warning. That you're warning me. That what will happen? Because I'll book you for that. You'll book me for that. <laughs> Imagine. That you book me for that. What are you doing wrong that you want to book me for that? You have you have to you have questions to answer. It's like you don't even know who you're even talking to. You just come and you're talking to somebody anyhow. Imagine. Hello. 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 You won't book me for that. I will see that your face. My name yeah. is Fidelis, yes. Okay. I just came from Warren. You know, the girl and I said they had a crack while we scream. And this thing happened in the wharf. Okay. You know? Now now the girl now said I should pay eight thousand. I've given her eight thousand, and they're taking another one thousand from me. Say that that's what you take to transport yourself to the bank. I don't know. So the the girl all the way from Wario. Uh, I don't know. Look at the girl. So yeah, it's right. Okay, now you see it right. That is exactly what she's talking about. And if if you don't fight it, if you don't fight it, to be honest with you, it will continue to to expand. And these guys, they are becoming more audacious. Yesterday, I was on the radio program, and um, a caller called in from I think Kinsube Axis, saying that there is a roadblock there. The police are now writing down. They have a register. Of all the Kekena peps and all the bus drivers, where if you if you drop your own money, they'll write your name. And anyone that comes around, they will check if your name has already been written down that, that you have already paid for the day. And they will allow you to pass. Now you can now understand the not just extortion of the money, but the traffic jam. Yes. The cost while trying to process the register their so-called register of people who they have extorted money from and we said it clearly you know you are in a hurry that is how they catch you mugu you are always in a hurry to go to where you want to go so you just give them is it not just hundred naira let me tell you that thing you are doing is what is destroying our society if we say no we are not giving and if I stop, the rest of other people stop, and nobody, and everyone, let me just use that word, everyone insists that no money will be given to you for no reason. And if we start fighting back, this is what we call civic disobedience, civic mobilization to do the right thing. And that is what we are trying to promote, and we are already promoting it, and we are inculcating this spirit and ideology in the minds of the people, through B uh, through BVI um, program, which we call Good Governance Ministry, that GGM is a revolution, is an ideology we are inculcating in the mindset of the people to stand up for what is right, to resist everything 
that has been skewed against them as a people. Without that, we will continue lamenting and crying and continue to be victims of the society. I, could, I continue to say that Nigerians are victims of Nigerian state because we condole this evil. And that is just the message. It's, um, I'm so sorry that you had that experience while coming to visit this place and we've been in, you've been in touch while she was in Russia all these years and for her to have this experience for the first time coming to see us is really I said we're going to talk about it and I must tell you if you want to get she's loaded she is loaded the link to her channel is right there at the description I'll drop the link there so that you'll be able to click it go to her channel Africa Unite Force Africa K yes, Africa K, yeah, yeah. not C, African Unite Force. She is the one, just go there and I can tell you, bring everyone, especially those in diaspora, you will begin to appreciate Africa. This is coming to you from this platform. I'm still associated with Peters, the voice of the people, the voice of God, and the voice of our ancestors. Please share this video. We must expose these officers. We must expose these officers. Please share this video and get them to account for the wrong they are doing. I'm signing out. Stay safe at all times. Bye-bye. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe.